here at Barron Island in the Mid Chesapeake Bay region of Maryland. We are working on restoring this island through the beneficial use of dredge material. So today you're seeing phase one construction, which is the construction of stone sills and a breakwater to cease the erosion of the island as best as possible. So climate change is a big driver of the erosion here, which drives increased wave energy here, um, which is also all driven by human activity in the region. This will establish and stabilize the island much better, as well as create additional acreage of wetland. So 72 to 83 acres of wetland will be created here using uh, dredge material from local channels. So the Corps of Engineers has a lot of projects like this in the Bay. The most uh, notable one is Poplar Island Restoration Project in Talbot County. Um, but yes, this is, this is the second big one, Barron Island, and then subsequently James Island, which are all part of the Mid-Chesapeake Bay Island Ecosystem Restoration Project. So the material for Barron Island is going to come from local federal navigation channels, uh, such as uh, Slaughter Creek, um, Hongatar Bay Channel, um, and then James Island uh, will come from the approach channels to the Port of Baltimore. Uh, the Port Administration feels like this is a win. This project's a win-win um, for the state of Maryland. Um, we are beneficially reusing dredge material um, to restore remote island habitat while keeping the federal navigation channels clear and safe for navigation, which ultimately keeps the port open for business. So in Maryland, we are responsible for about five million cubic yards of dredge material material annually. So. Um, it is against state law to place that open water in open water. Um, so we need a place to put it. And for the Maryland Bay channels, the material currently goes to Poplar Island, but as that reaches capacity, we will need James Island to come online. So during the feasibility phase of the project, which we completed in 2009, we looked at many, many um, islands in the bay and, and we selected Barron um, and James. Um, and even we were looking at doing a bigger footprint here, but we ended up doing a bigger footprint in James. So when this when this project is complete, it is for the birds and the fish and the reptiles. You know, that's really what it's for. If some kayakers want to roll up and check it out, that's fine. But the intent is to give it back to nature.